During drought periods, the Amazon rainforest could be releasing more carbon into the atmosphere than absorbing it, according to an article published in Nature in February. The conclusion came from a team led by Luciana Vanigati, coordinator of the Atmospheric Chemistry Laboratory of the Nuclear and Energy Research Institute in Brazil. Her team calculated the carbon balance of the Amazon rainforest during 2010 and 2011. The carbon balance is the comparison between the amount of carbon in the form of CO2 emitted and absorbed by the Amazon basin. For this study, air samples were collected in four locations in the Amazon based on the way the airflow spreads from the Atlantic Ocean through the Amazon basin. By analyzing the concentration of CO2 and carbon monoxide, Gatti realized that the data reflected all the processes of absorption and emission of these gases. In 2011, a very wet year, the fires that took place in the region released 300 million tons of carbon into the atmosphere, while the forest absorbed 250 million tons. In 2010, however, the forest experienced an extreme drought. Consequently, the fires have increased significantly, as well as the amount of CO2 released back into the atmosphere. If this trend continues, the region could become a source of CO2 emissions, accelerating and intensifying global warming, Gatti says. If the Amazon removes less carbon from the atmosphere, then in the global uh, way we will have a more carbon in the atmosphere. But uh, we are not sure if this represents uh, what happens in every wet year. Uh, we need more time to understand. Another important factor was the variation in rainfall. Researchers also found that the water availability has an important role in determining the carbon balance in the Amazon basin. What happened in 2010 is that the, the forest uh, received a lower amount of water during the wet season, and, uh, and then during the dry season, the water stress was really very, very intense for the, the, the plants, the trees, and then the photosynthesis sometimes you stop it. If it, these dry years the frequency is coming up, this can mean that Amazonia will contribute less in removal of carbon of the atmosphere. Anna Harper, researcher at the College of Engineering, Mathematics and Physical Sciences of the University of Exeter in England, says that this is not the first time a research suggests that anomalous climate years can reverse the carbon uptake of the forest, but thinks that measurements taken by Gatti have answered some questions about the carbon cycle, the timing of drought, and the impact that fires can have on how much carbon the forest takes up. Gatti and her team have already collected the samples for 2012 and 2013, but not yet completed the analysis. An effort of at least 10 years will be needed to fully understand the future carbon balance of the region.